Hello everyone, my name is Christian Nicolescu and today I will show you how you create a ticket and how you work with the tickets using the connector for Zendesk. So download the connector for Zendesk from your iPad Go. Then on your iPad Studio, as usual, you can uh, you have the link here and you can write to Zendesk and you can install it very easy. After you install it, you'll have under your iPad team, Zendesk will have uh, 25 activities. Today we'll work with the tickets. So first, let's create a ticket. We have an application scope configure already, it's connected. I'll drag and drop an add ticket. And if I want to add the ticket, I will add, for example, the subject and the description of the ticket. Description, I'll write description and I will say from API, from API and um, hello world. I'll run it and the system create for me a ticket with the value, the ID 22. Let's see it, we'll go here on the Zendesk, we see that we have the ticket, yeah? Let's make a comment to this ticket. If you want to make a comment to this ticket, I will drag and drop, um, which we know that we'll have the ID 22, let's disable this one. I will drag and drop an add comment here on the comments. I will drag and drop the comment and I will say, First, I need to say that it's for ticket 22, for ID 22. And I will say that I want to add a comment. And I will add a comment with the body comment API, com, comment API, okay? And I run it and I get the comment, good. Let's see it also here, you have comment API. Let's attach a file. So let's attach a file. I will drag and drop an upload file. I will go and select a file. Let's see where I have here on RPA some files. RPA and I have a picture. This will return a token. Control K, talk one. And here I will say on the upload. On the uploads, I can give him an array of tokens. In my case, I will put only my token, yeah? Talk one. <clears throat> Good. Let's uh, run it and see what's happened. And I have comment API with my uh, image. Let's add multiple files, yeah? And let's see how we add multiple files. I drag another upload. I will uh, uh, select another file. RPA, I have an MP3 file here. We'll say that is talk to, talk to. And then here I will add like this. I will put uh, plus, I will add a comma, and I put the second variable talk to because I can be able to provide him an array. Okay, and if we run this one, you will see that he will be able to add two files. Robot finish. And if we refresh this one, we have a comment with two files, yeah? Something was wrong on the... Zendesk. So you have you have a command with two files, add lead and uh, audio mp3. Okay, now let's download all the files. Yeah. So normally you have to find the ID of the file and download the file. So if you want to download the file, normally you'll go like this. You say download file and you provide him the ID of the attachment, but you have to search on the comments. You have to search on the comments to find the ID of the attachment and so on. So I provide an easy way to download all the files. So let's say that I want to download all the files from a ticket. I will select a folder and I will select a folder here on the um, RP for download. You see I have only one file here, nothing. Um, and I say that the ticket ID is 22, yeah? And the system will automatically download all the, the files from that comment, yeah? So let's see. 
let's okay let's see the um, the folder okay on the folder you'll see that we'll have three files and why we have these three files because we have on the comments we add what one time the uh, add lead pmfa uh, uh, star picture and we add again the add lead picture with the audio mp3 and because we have multiple times add lead he will put v1 v2 v3 so he will download all the files and he will put the uh, different versions yeah so the system is able to read all the comments from a ticket and download all the files very fast in one activity yeah in one activity if you want to do it more complicated uh, you can do you can search for the um, uh, the id of the file and download each file separately but this is a very powerful activity we download all the files from the ticket so this is the way how we work with tickets if you want to get tickets you have the get ticket um, uh, list and um, you search for the parameters you can search what you want if you run it you will find all the um, uh, let's see priority receipt uh, what was the subject subject uh, description description and you have the results for all the ticket. Huh? So very easy to extract data for the ticket. It's the same, you can search on the comments and so on. So remember, um, search on YouTube for me and you'll find here on my channel, a lot of videos about uh, Zendesk, um, sales for service down suite and other components. Thank you very much and have a good one. Bye-bye.